Welcome back to another episode on BO Reviews in Gaming and Entertainment. In this episode, we take a look at a game that, in my book, was inspired by Treasures Guardian Heroes on the Sega Saturn and their own twist with Toad of Princess. This retro look was first brought to my attention way back with the designs that looks and plays like Guardian Heroes. The funny thing is, is that this game on the Sega Saturn made waves by pushing the 2D action with RPG elements. That same charm is here, with the same director and character designer being Tetsuhiki Kikuchi with lead programmer Masasaki Yuko working on Koda Princess, but this time around on the Nintendo 3DS. The game was later ported to other platforms with Nintendo Switch seeing it on their console in 2018. The version I'm playing and reviewing is on Microsoft Windows via Steam. Twitter Princess was developed by studio Saizensen and released by Atlas in 2012 for the Nintendo DS and in 2016 for Microsoft Windows and 2018 for the Nintendo Switch. The game is an action RPG that is your hack and slash variety that has well over 50 playable characters. You also will meet all those characters in the campaign mode. The RPG elements allow the player to level up and build upon their character as they play out throughout the entire game. The story is in a world where humans and monsters battle one another constantly. As the Princess Solange is kicked out of her kingdom after being attacked by monsters, Solange journeys to find out why the monsters attacked and eventually meets other companions along the way. The main four characters on the main campaign and missions consist of Salong, Ali, Zozo, and Allegro. Each have special techniques that will help the overall quest. The gameplay is quite simple in the beginning where you mostly button mash until victory. As you play more and more, the levels and missions begin to challenge you more where dodging, blocking, and combo attacks are necessary in moving along. There are three different planes where you can jump on to avoid or attack enemies. The game does get chaotic at times where retreat to higher or lower ground helps immensely. The RPG elements are huge when creating your hero. I myself love a fast overall player with combos and I love playing Salong or Ali as they are very quick fighting characters. Salong was actually kind of slow in the beginning, but I was able to put most of her characteristics in speed. They gave her movements much faster than the original, but I sacrificed her ability to take damage and life points. This caused me to rethink my strategy as Salong, although awesome in her speed and combos, would now be defeated quickly with a couple of good killer hits. Oh, 
The visuals here are nice for a port of the 3DS. The game offers the player to play the game as if it was in its original format or full screen with dual images. The original pixelated versions from the 3DS was left with newly rendered backgrounds. It just doesn't look right. When you take a look at what the Switch was able to accomplish, redefining the characters from the detail all becomes much better than the PC version I played. Although visually hampered in my book and not totally fleshed out, you won't notice as much while playing the game as the action is frantic and never lets up. I do wish they took a bit more time on the PC version like they did with Nintendo Switch, which seems to be the top version with their character smooth out in much more detail. The online mode was pretty much non-existent, as this is a pretty old game, but it does allow for four player rush attacks. Although no one was on, I was able to simulate and play with three other characters being played by the PC. Playing was a complete blast and very chaotic at times, so it was kind of hard to see where my character was at all times during the frantic chaos. <laughs> Overall, the game felt great with speedier version of characters, but when the repetition came in, there were times where I just wanted to give the game a break based on their constant battles that were seemingly non-stop. Toyota Princess gets a 6.5 out of 10 for its fun, different look at something like Guardian Heroes. The game will end quickly for players as the repetition of the game gets the best of you. That's it on this episode and on this retro review of Coda Princess. Please like and subscribe if you like my videos. Beho out and Greg take us out of here and I will see you all next upload. <laughs>